Hello and welcome to Einstein's Moving Mouth. This is a tutorial on how to do a mouth moving animation like you can see here on Einstein that you can use on any face and you can do it all in PowerPoint. So let's move on to look at how it's done. So here we have our picture of Einstein and this picture had a black background so I've just done a black background for the slide as well just to isolate it. Um, that may or may not be what you want to do. So the first thing to do to get our mouth animation is to get a copy of the picture. So you can either do um, control D for duplicate or copy paste however you want to do it. And from here we go into picture tools, format and crop. And we want to crop down to the top of the bottom lip and then across to isolate the chin and there's a little line on the face there so much will crop to that and on this one we'll crop up to um, the bottom of the shadow you may need to crop to different features but you, you still get the principle of it so there's our cropped picture but as you could see if we move that around those very sharp edges don't look so great so what I'm going to do is insert a shape and the one I'm going to use is this one it's from the flowchart section and it's delay so it's a D shape so we put that in here and what we want to do is get this picture into here now in order to do this we need to actually rotate this picture so the chin shape will match the D shape and then save it as a picture so save as picture here and for convenience I'll just call this 001 so I'll be able to find it easy and save then go into the shape and shape fill and I want the picture so browse pictures file and here's 001 and there we have our chin now in that D shape so you can start now to match that with the shape of Einstein's face which is something like that and we don't want a shape outline to it and also to help with some of these like the white element down there what I'm going to do is go into shape effects soft edges and we'll cut off some of those edges and there to about five points that seems to work reasonably well so there's our Einstein's chin just about in place don't need this one anymore and we're ready to animate the chin so to do the animation let's select the chin go into animations and the add animation the one we want to add is a custom path and there'll be a little cross appear I don't know if it comes up on the actual screen for this video but there's a little cross you get it more or less into the center of the picture draw down a little bit to do the movement double click and there we have it so there's the, our chin that we want to move let's just look at that in slideshow so from current slide so that just moved down very or moved down there so what we want to do now is adjust the timing of that movement down so we'll look at what have we got here so duration two seconds we don't want that let's do it at 0 0.5 we do a repeat just to see how it works of um, let's do 10 we do 10 repeats and then rewind to get it back to where we started so there's the movement and let's see how that looks in slide mode as well okay so that's not too bad you could move that around a bit getting the start and finish points of the animation of the motion path is the trickiest bit 
I think, of all of this animation. But once you've got that right, you can start to look at the um, the duration and the speed that you want the chin to move. So that's how we've set that one up now. Now, on the very first picture we saw in the introduction here, we had there was um, Einstein's chin moved in different speeds and so on. And in order to get that kind of effect, all we need to do is select and copy the chin, paste it, and what we want that to do then is be aligned exactly with the first one. So if we go into Arrange and Align, Align Center, Arrange, Align, Align Middle, and just check that then that we've got that back in the position that we starting position that we want. So that's round about there. Okay, so now we've got two chins ready with the movement, but what we want the first one to do is to disappear when the second one comes into play. So if we add animation, the first chin we want to disappear, so move that disappearance up under the, the first chin movement. Timing is going to be, oops, sorry, after previous. Okay, and then we want the second chin, add animation there, we want that to appear at the same time as the first chin disappears. So that will be start with previous and then the second chin movement to start after previous, <coughs> after that, that second appearance. So let's look at that in slideshow. Oh, I'll tell you what we do first though, is adjust the timings here. So here we add a repeat of 10. I'm going to reduce that, let's say, to 4 and reduce the speed, the duration to 0.3 seconds. OK that. And then the first chin timing. We can leave that at 0 0.5, but make that 4 seconds, uh, or 4 repeats rather. And let's just see then what we've got in slideshow. We should have two different types of movement. So there's our first one, and then it speeds up. And that's the process. You know, if you want to get different movements onto the, the chin, you just copy, paste, have one disappear as the next one appears and then just adjust the, um, the duration and the speed of the movement. And then you'll have it. So that's how to make a moving mouth with PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.